Welcome to this video on arithmetic progression and geometric progression. So what is an arithmetic progression and what is geometric progression? So look at the first sequence here, you have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So you can see here, if you add 2 from the previous term, you will get the next term. This type of sequence, when you add a constant number, is called arithmetic progression. So D is the common difference here, is 2. So for the next one, you minus 1 from the previous term. This is also an arithmetic progression with a common difference equal to negative 1. So you can see here, if you multiply 2 from the previous term, you will get the next term. This is called a geometric progression, and R is called the common difference, which is equal to 2 here. For the second sequence here, you can see here you actually multiply half from the previous term. This is also a geometric progression with the common difference R less than 1, so R equal to half. Now it's pretty clear what is the arithmetic progression and geometric progression. Generally for arithmetic progression, you either add or subtract a number from the previous term. And the D is your common difference. But for geometric progression, you are going to multiply a number from the previous term. The number can be a number that is more than 1, or less than 1, can also be a negative number. And R is your common ratio. Now I'm going to show you the end term for arithmetic progression and geometric progression. For arithmetic progression, the end term Tn equal to A plus N minus 1D. So what is the end term? If you look at this arithmetic progression here, this is called the first term T1 equal to 2. The second term, T2 equal to 4, and the third term, T3 equal to 6. So using this formula, you have when n equal to 1, T1 equal to a, 1 minus 1 is 0. Therefore, T1 equal to a, so a is your first term. T2 equal to a plus 2 minus 1, you have 1. Therefore, T2 equal to A plus D. T3 equal to A plus 3 minus 1, you have 2, 2D. Using the same concept, you have T4 equal to A plus 3D. And if you have T100, this is equal to A plus 99D. You should be able to apply the formula very fast. So for geometric progression, the end term is ARN minus 1. So when n equal to 1, you have t1 equal to a, r, 1 minus 1 is 0, r power 0, you have 1. So t1 is a, a is your first term. t2 equal to a, r, 2 minus 1, you have 1 here. Therefore, t2 equal to a, r. t3 equal to a, r, 3 minus 1, you have 2. So therefore, t4 should be a, r, power 3. So what is your t100? a, r, power 3. 99. So these two formula for AP, Tn equal to A plus N minus 1 D, and for GP, Tn equal to ARN minus 1 are given in your SPM formula list. 